Okay, I'm here in front of Micro Center again. Today I'm going to have a little unique experience here. I'm going to have the help of some of the employees and the store manager to put together a little video about, you know, how this store works and, and see what it looks like and get some inside scoop, hopefully. I'm looking at the front of the store right now and I see that there is uh, people already lined up. I guess they're waiting for the morning delivery over here. So I have the processors right over here. I have the AMD Ryzen on the right side. I have the Intel on the left side. Um, both are great manufacturing companies, but lately Ryzen has been a lot more popular because the current gen processors have been outperforming Intel by a lot. So pretty much all of us have been doing like AMD processors for our builds, except for like one or two that are still stuck on Intel. Uh, then for motherboards, we have a whole variety of like X570, B550 boards. Now I heard some new Intels were coming out soon, is that true? Um, allegedly, a couple months we should be hearing a lot more news. <laughs> okay. But I haven't seen any solid concrete evidence yet. Okay. But I do have motherboards for 10th, 11th gen CPUs, and I have for the current 5000 AMD CPUs as well. What's your high-end motherboard here? What's the, the one that's the highest end that you got? Jeez, we got a lot of them. Uh, I would say one of the ACES boards, definitely. Okay. Um, some of those, especially for like the Threadripper, which is not as popular, but those I would say are the highest end. I see. Uh, the most common ones that we sell, I would say are the ASUS X570s, because they're already 5,000 ready. Uh, the MSIs as well, most of them are 5,000 ready also. Gigabyte okay. is a little bit harder to, I guess, sell or purchase for people, because they're not 5,000 ready. So oh. they're, they're not as popular. I see. But I have an ASUS board myself. I put one in my dad's computer. I like ASUS. Um, MSI is also great. I would say those are the top two that I recommend for people. Okay, what's in the cage here? Uh, these are open box items, ones that have been returned. Um, for any number of reasons, someone changed their mind, didn't realize it wasn't the one they were looking for, maybe the one that they actually wanted came back in stock so they did an exchange. Um, it could be any number of reasons. I, I don't have the information, unfortunately. Um, but they are returned items. They are for sale. Um, they are sent to a facility to get tested to make sure that they work. I see. Good. Good. Yep. And then on the left side here, we have the Intel motherboards. So 9th gen is kind of fading out. So I only have like 9700K uh, processors. Oh. As far as motherboards go, I have very limited 9th gen. I have some H310s. Occasionally we'll get like a Z390, but not really often. Uh, pretty much just have like Z740s, Z750s. Uh, you can do like a Z590 board with a 10th gen chip. It just kind of cuts out the first PCI line on it, like for M.2s. Okay. That's the only reason you want to keep it the same like Z490 with a 10th gen or Z590 with 11th gen. Very good. Okay. Um, normally, I see water cooling over there. Yeah, I have custom loops and all-in-one liquid coolers. <laughs> have you ever tried one of those? I have not personally. <laughs> for what I for well, what I use, I don't need one. I'm in the same boat right now, but I will be doing it eventually. Make some videos about that. I have I have a Hyper 212 air cooler. I have the RGB one that lights up. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I have Is it the black version? No, I have, uh, yeah, the 212 black. I have the yeah. RGB one, yeah. That's um, what my daughter has. Oh, nice. She's about your age. <laughs> yeah. And we, well, one of my video series was me and her building her computer. Yeah, I just turned 29 a few days ago, so. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but I have that because I have a 5600X, so I don't need to liquid cool it, so I just have an air cooler. Um, but some people have like 5800Xs, 5900Xs, or they have like top Intel, they have like the 11900Ks, then you want to get into liquid cooling. So, so we, we got have, a lot of stuff here. We have a lot of stuff. I have all kinds of fittings. I have radiators, pumps, coolant, everything to get you started for a custom loop, the tubing itself. I have everything right over here. I do also have the AIOs, the all-in-one liquid coolers. If someone doesn't really want to get into custom loops, but they still want some kind of liquid cooling, I have a huge variety. I have Cooler Master, MSI. I would say my top selling ones are the NZXT Krakens and the uh, Corsair. So the Kraken, the Z-Series has like a nice little display that has the temperature on it, or you could put like an image or a GIF on it if you want to do that. Uh, as a joke, we had one with a GIF of our manager, so it was kind of funny. Um, but you could put whatever you want on there or just let it do the temp check itself. And Corsair, because everyone's familiar with it, everyone is like a fan of Corsair. They'll either pick that or the NZXT. And they do come with thermal paste, so that's always nice. Is that good thermal paste? Yeah, yeah, the ones that come with are actually decent. 
I mean, we do have thermal paste available if you want to pick your own or one that you're familiar with. We have that available as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what's over here? These are a couple open box cases. I have a large amount of cases over here. Your box stuff from what you have on display? Uh, yeah, so the displays of the cases go around in the U-form, and then if you actually were interested sure. in purchasing a case, I would just grab it from over here. I see, I see. Yeah, I've been through this area a lot. I like this case, actually, although it's somewhat going out of style now, isn't it? It's a monster of a yeah. case. <laughs> um, I don't what is really it, the 1000D? Yeah, that is the 1000D. It's a really big oh case. Uh, a lot of people don't have room for it. But those that do and want to do a custom water loop, there's plenty of room to do that. Yeah, a lot of fans, too. I a like lot of fans, yeah. It's, it's a great case, actually. It's just kind of big and no one really has space for it. <laughs> now, are these the, the higher end or the low end cases here? I would say a mix. Uh, they're not sorted. They're not really sorted by what um, end they are, I guess, low end or high end. They're sorted by brand first. And then whatever the manufacturer wants to put on display is what's sent to put on display. So I have Corsair right over here. I have a couple of options available, different sizes, uh, different variety based on if you actually want the RGB fans in the front or if you don't necessarily need it. I have cheaper options available as well for a lower end build. I see some powered on over there with their RGB showing, <laughs> huh? Yeah, so... At least the B part. Very rarely are we able to power some of the cases. This one they wanted to show off because it comes with the water cooling. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one comes with the loop. So you pretty much just need the rest of it inside. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yep. And this is a, a case my daughter was in, my older daughter. I'm giving her an older PC I have, but she likes a slim case like that. That's a very slim case. Um, yeah. <laughs> as long as she's not like d gaming bit, hardcore. Uh, more expensive, I think, than she wants to spend. Yeah. As long as she's not like doing any hardcore gaming where a graphics card wouldn't fit, that's a perfect case if she just needs something lower no, profile. No, she's only got a 1030 in there. Yeah, that's fine then, because you could use a low profile bracket in that. Yeah, it's a low profile, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you still need to have like um, five and a quarter inch bays, like if you have um, like a disc reader, I have this case available. It has a couple of them. Uh, most cases are kind of going away from that because everything's right. digital I, I, now. I know, I know. Everything's I going digital, but I do have uh, some options available, such as this one, which I actually put in a build a few weeks ago for someone that needed those bays. Okay. So it's good to have a couple options like that available. This one has five and a quarter too, doesn't it? Has at least one. Has there. one. Yeah. Uh, he needed more, so I gave him that one. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I saw this one also advertised. Uh, as being like a test bench. That's what it is. Okay. Um, I heard that as well, but I hadn't tried it myself. I know that you could put a 200 millimeter fan on top of it, which is what he did. Right. Um, but this is actually one of the more versatile cases, especially because you can do a lot with it. And these are the accessories for fans and yeah, cooling so and I stuff? Yeah, so I have mostly RGB um, and anti-sag brackets here available. Oh yeah, I have this one in one of my PCs. Oh, so really? I have my, my 3080 being supported by that in one of my two PCs. Okay, yeah, it's a really popular one. And back when like video cards were starting to, I guess, become short, everyone was buying them up. They needed those and we were out of stock for a while. Right. So it's nice to see we have them in again. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have, yeah, mostly like RGB accessories over here as well, like the cables themselves, the RGB fan splitters, um, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Uh, I have also, if you need some extra screws, I have screws available as well. Yeah. Then I So, uh, if I were looking to buy a PC, let's say I was one of the lucky ones. Well, you got a <laughs> lot of extras, like in terms of your video cards yeah, today. Yeah. But let's say I got the card I wanted, which would be like a, a Founders Edition 3080. Okay. If you guys had one now, I would buy it. <laughs> I think a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that would make a good video, you know. Yeah. Um, they're mostly a Best Buy exclusive, which is why we don't really get them in. We've only occasionally had Founders Edition cards in, but. I've heard that. Yeah, that's yeah. why I stood online the last two times hoping that that was like the rare time. Yeah, um, honestly, I wish we did too, because it would be great for people to be able to, you know, get an affordable card without, without like a huge markup, you know? Right. But unfortunately, they have more of a partnership with like Best Buy. So you'd start, where would you start if you, if I was looking for, I had the video card and you, you, uh, you started at the CPUs, right? And you went through the motherboards. Would you do the cases next or would you go to something save, else? Yeah, I usually save the case for last because that one's mostly aesthetic. Okay. I kind of want to get a feel for what people are using the computer for first. Oh, so you need to know what's going into it too, yeah. right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so they would pick these, at least the motherboard, I would think, right? Yeah. And I mean, the video card. I mean, I could have started with cases. I just wanted to get a feel for what was going in the computer. Okay. Okay, that's good. And if you need micro ATX, we have micro ATX available as well. 
Uh, next I would probably do like RAM and storage. So most people pick up like 16 gigs of RAM. Only difference between regular and the pretty RGB is about like a $20 difference if you want it to light up and look nice. Um, I have RGB RAM myself because I wanted it to light up and look nice. <laughs> um, if you're doing like Microsoft Flight Simulator um, or more intensive like editing type of thing, you might want to go with 32 gigs of RAM. I like this. It shows what video cards you have in stock. Yep. And you've got quite a few today. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier for customers that want to know what we have, um, but they're a little hesitant to ask because they don't want to get, you know, their hopes let down. So we have this available so they can kind of see for themselves what we have. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of storage, I have SSDs right over here. I have everything from like 128 gigs to like multiple terabytes installed state drives. What do you normally recommend to people? I have a terabyte. One terabyte? Yeah, I usually give a terabyte. Uh, I myself have a terabyte. If they need more, I usually ask them what they're saving on it. If it's just like photos and documents, I'll just recommend basic storage, like a Seagate hard drive, uh, like a Barracuda. That's a great one. I have one myself. I have a two terabyte of that. Um, other than that, I would say top two selling are Crucial and Samsung for SSDs. Most people are kind of going for NVMEs right now because they're faster and they go directly on the motherboard. So I would say my top two selling ones are the 981 terabytes uh, for NVMEs. And I would say in terms of two and a half inch drive, the Crucial MX500 because those are a great price. Now, what's this stuff on the board here? What do you got up here written uh, in marker? These are CPU prices because we like to uh, let people know that we're competitive about pricing and that for processors, we usually have a better price. Okay. So if anyone like has any questions about, I guess, other competitors, we can just show them that we have it at a more affordable price so that they're not going out of their way to do the research themselves because we're more than welcome to help them out with that. And these are the cards you have re ready for people? Yeah, these, these are available. Yeah. These are actually up for grabs pretty much for everybody right now. Wow. Yeah. It's a good day for graphics cards. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> How about hard drives? Do you sell those much anymore? I would say not as much because most people are just uh, going for solid state drives. But I have a two by myself because, like I said, if it's not a game that I'm storing on it, I don't need it to be super quick. So for 50 bucks, I got myself a two terabyte regular hard drive. Okay. Yeah. But I would say a terabyte solid state is the most common that people go for. If they're doing maybe a budget build or they don't need so much storage or only saving like one game on it, I usually recommend like a 500 gig. So I try to get a feel for what kind of storage they're looking for first, like how much storage, and then I go from there. Oh, very good. What's left, memory? Uh, I briefly talked about the memory, but if you want to go into further detail, I have G-Skill available here. I have the non-RGB down here. I have RGB options available up here. I have Corsair. I would say these two are the most popular that we sell. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with Corsair RAM. Uh, G-Skill is also a great brand. I have G-Skill myself. Me too, yeah. I went with the Royals because I wanted it to be really fancy. I know a lot of people don't like it because it, it's a little too much. But That's I thought, like the full silver or gold, yeah, right? Yeah, I was able to get the gold one, which we don't carry anymore, unfortunately. We uh -huh. only have the silver now, but uh -huh. I went with the gold one because I thought it looked really pretty. Um, my coworkers teased me about it because I went with the really shiny ones. But I have a lot of options available. I would say the Trident Zs and the Corsair Vengeance are the two top selling ones. Um, definitely most popular. Is that a 16 gig kit there? Yeah, or? It's a 16 2 by 8. Uh, I have different speeds available 3000 megahertz, 3200, 3600 as well in the Trident Z Neos. Um, more people are going for the 3600s than before because it's more readily available and the motherboards actually support it now. now how do I power this thing? <laughs> With a power supply. <laughs> so, depending on what kind of graphics card you have, uh, you mentioned a 3080 or right. potentially a 3080. I would recommend at least an 850 watt. Uh, I have them right over here. I would say top selling ones are definitely EVGA right now. Oh, really? Yeah, they have great customer service if you ever need it. Um, EVGA, Corsair as well, I would say are the top two. Um, PowerSpec is giving a lot of good competition though because they usually have pretty good prices. They also have RGB as well, uh, some of the power specs. But I would say more popular one is definitely this 850 EVGA. I see. Someone yeah. that has I have one of those in one of my PCs, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really great. I put an EVGA in my dad's computer also. And if you need I also it, like Corsair. Yeah. Corsair is really good as well. Um, they have multiple different series though, right? They do. They have the RM series, RMX. They have the CX series. Um, mostly it has to do with like the modularity of it and the rating on it. 
I have the CX version of this. Okay, it's a good, it's a really good one. Yeah. yeah. And they're pretty much the only manufacturer, aside from the Asus, I think, that has a white Strix to have a white power supply. Wow. So okay. someone like me that has a white build, it would look really nice in my case. Well, you don't have a white build on yours? I have a white build, I just don't have a white oh, power supply. Oh, you don't have supply. a white power supply. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the one I have is also <laughs> RGB. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have some of those as well. Like I was mentioning, the power spec I have, I have Thermaltake RGB. Um, I have the Strix models as well. I think that's about all that I have for RGB. And these are the lower end. These are for like basic PCs or something over here. Oh, uh, Gecko got an MSI. Hadn't really made power supplies for a while, even Asus. Uh, they kind of started getting into it not too long after. I heard about some problems with Gigabyte, huh? Yeah, I heard that as well. Um, I kind of don't recommend them to people if I'm doing a build, just because I've had people come back saying that they were causing issues. Nothing against Gigabyte as the brand or anything like that. I just want my customers to feel safe in their purchase and secure. Well, one of my 3080s is a Gigabyte. I got the Gigabyte Vision. I actually <laughs> spent all night on the line here. <laughs> out yeah. There. No, the, the graphics cards themselves are great. Just because I think they don't have much experience with power supplies, I think that's what the issue is. I think they just need to work on it a little bit, fine tune it. But I think that's honestly what it just comes down to. Okay. Anything else that we need to... Uh, I have Put Windows. into our PC. I have Windows if you need an operating system. Okay. So I have the that software. on. Yeah, on a disk or a flash drive. I recommend a flash drive just because, like I was saying before, most people don't have that disk reader in the computer. Um, plus, if you ever need to reinstall, like I had to once, it was so much easier with a flash drive copy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just save the box, save the flash drive with the code, and you're pretty good, uh, good to go. Okay. And the only other thing is the case. I usually let people pick out the case on their own. If they need help, I'm more than happy to help them. Um, but that's ultimately more of a personal choice because it's the aesthetic that they're going for. Like we were mentioning with like the Obsidian 1000D, that's a huge case. I wouldn't just recommend it to every person that comes in. <laughs> now what if I wanted extra fans in my case, besides like the one or two that... Yeah, we have those it? available as well. Um, depending on what kind of case uh, you picked up, like I have Corsair multi-packs of fans, like the LL120s, QLs. Um, if you have like an NZXT case, I have NZXT fans available as well. I have them right over here actually. I also have the air cooling fans as well for like CPUs. Like this is the one that I have. I have the Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB. Yeah, it's the same one my daughter has. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really good one. <laughs> uh, I have Noctua's, some of the bigger ones if you're trying to cool a bigger, like higher power processor and don't want to go into liquid cooling. Uh, I have these. I also have the Chrome Max Black, which was really sought after for a while there. We didn't have it for a while. So we have it in stock now. Uh, I also have some lower profile ones as well. If you're doing a smaller build and need that extra room and can't, yeah. afford, and can't afford to put a smaller cooler. I'm putting a server together in, my, in one of my future builds. I yeah, got, so you I'm might need one. I'm putting a Nachua, a particular one that's meant for, uh, for servers, yeah. a for you case. Okay. You guys don't have any rack mounted cases, right? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. Uh, at least none that I've seen. Um, but I have the extra fans here. The multi-packs come with a controller. So you can control the RGB a lot more easily. Um, you can also go through the software. But I also have Red Dragon. I have um, Touch Aqua. I have a lot of variety. I have the NZXTs here. I have a few Cooler Masters. We don't get too many of them, though. I would say most popular are definitely the Corsair uh, and then Touch Aqua. Those are the two top ones, I would say. One thing I noticed that the ML120 is like a very high-performing one, right? Yeah. It actually does better than their... The, uh, in terms of performance yeah. than the uh, RGB one. Yeah. It's like they took performance away from that. I think just for the RGB sake of it, I think they had to choose. Oh, so it would look funny or something? I think it wasn't as compatible. I think they had to do it separately. So if you want better performance, I would say the MLs. If you want it to look prettier, the LLs. But the LLs do work great on their own. Um, for most purposes, they're more than enough for people. And these are some more cases here to choose from. Yep, like I said, I have a whole bunch going around in a U-shape. Uh, if there's any in particular that somebody likes, I will see if I have it and I'll get it right for them. Very nice, very nice. So like I was saying before, they're sorted by brand. I have some thermal takes here. I have some Leon Lee's here. I like the Leon Lee cases a lot, actually. I built my dad's in this case. This okay. is the Lancool 2, the mesh RGB. It's got a nice mesh on front. Yeah, here. yeah, there's a lot of cooling in there. Yeah. And what I like about this case is that a lot of people that want to get into building but don't have much experience, this is a great starter case because there's no screws. It's magnets. Oh, wow. Pull it down. I didn't realize that. And then this is also a magnet. Right. Yeah, I like that when you can swing it out. I have, a, I have one that does that. My other two, you got to like unscrew it. So if you don't want to be me and have to worry about a couple of screws loose, this is a great case. <laughs> um, 
I would probably, if I was doing another build, I would get this in the white because we do have it in the white as well. Oh, good. Would the would the glass be clear on that then? Uh, it's exactly the same. It's oh, just it's the dark actual, like that. Yeah, it's just the actual um, sides here. They're just white instead of black, but they nice. still light up. Okay. They also make a performance version if you don't want it to light up. So the fans don't light up. They're actually um, quieter fans. So that's called the Performance X from Lee and Lee. Uh, it's the exact same thing, like I said, just doesn't light up. It has different fans in it. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, and if you wanted to take another look, I have NZXT right over here. Uh, the H510s are super popular for like a, I would say, lower to mid-end build. If they wanted to save a bit somewhere, they usually get this case. It's I a see. great it's a great budget case. Um, nothing too crazy. You can add more fans in there. Uh, everything fits nicely for the most part, unless you have like a crazy big graphics card that wouldn't fit, but most of them fit just fine. Very good. Very good. And then if you wanted to, I guess, look around at the ones here. I have a couple more. This is that open uh, open air case. Yeah, it's an open air case. I don't really get asked for that one too often. Uh, most people are like, but I have a cat. That would be really bad. And, and I agree. <laughs> I tell them, like, yeah, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, the, my cat's knocked the phone off the hook on my, in my uh, yeah, studio recently. Not, not always good. <laughs> uh, I had a customer come in the other day saying that he needed a new power supply because the cat peed in the computer. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely don't want that case if you have an animal, but if you don't have an animal and you don't have to worry about a space that gets dusty, it's an interesting design case. Well, I like cases that I can have a lot of airflow and I can do something about the dust. Yeah. So that's why I like the cases that have a, a secondary yeah. filter behind this. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like this one here is one of the ones that I have on my streaming. Okay on my streaming rig. Right here. Yeah, and it has this uh, really fine filter here. Yeah, I would say the 4000 series, the 4000D um, and the 4000X are some of the more popular cases right now from Corsair, uh, as well as I would say the Cooler Master TD500 mesh. And definitely, like I was saying before, the Lee and Lees, I always recommend them, especially, like I said, a lot of people are just getting into builds. So easy to build in them. There's a lot of nice space in there because it is a bit of a bigger case without being like, like the uh, Corsair 1000D. Very good, very good. Okay, so that would be it then, right? That's pretty much it, yeah. Well, I really appreciate all, the, all of this time that you took, and I appreciate Scott letting me uh, do this in the store here. <laughs> yeah, thanks and, for uh, coming in and talking to us. <laughs> okay, well, take care, okay? Yeah, you too.
Okay, that finishes my little trip to Micro Center today. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you could go ahead and subscribe, you'd be able to see future shows like this and uh, be able to get some more information on how this store works. So until the next time, take care and stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Thank you.